Good morning. It is 7.49 a.m. on Saturday, May 23rd, 2020. I am Christiana Ellis, and I actually didn't just get up. I've been up for a little bit. This is five more minutes. I went to bed early last night um, just because I was feeling uh, like I needed some sleep, and uh, I got some, which was good. Although, this is two nights in a row now where I remembered my dreams. I'm not going to go into the dreams this time. They were a little bit more chaotic and less narrative this time. But uh, just I'm noting because I find it interesting that I talked about my dreams yesterday and then I remembered them again. Uh, so Rocket had his vet appointment yesterday, and sure enough, the vet is pretty convinced that uh, several of his canine teeth, you know, like the fangs, the adult tooth has come in, but instead of pushing the puppy teeth out, it has just like come in next to them and it's going to distort and where his teeth are. And so uh, we made a new appointment for this coming Friday to have them extracted. And while he would be going under anesthesia anyway, recommended it might be time to take care of a couple of other things down south, if you follow me. So, yeah, that's on the agenda uh yeah so weirdly enough this morning instead of recording this right away something made me just put on the tv and so i actually watched uh the most recent uh it's actually from this past sunday uh last week tonight and then i put on the first episode of succession which one moment Phew, goodness, it's an HBO drama uh, that I had heard good things about, and I'm uh, actually, I, I got about 20 minutes into the first episode before I said, what am I doing? I should record my video first. So, can't really comment on it too much so far, because it's still really all building to what I'm pretty sure is the, you know, the premise reveal, right? Like the, like, what is the show about? Well, that thing hasn't happened yet. But, uh, I, you know, I've heard good things, so I'm looking forward to it. The other thing that I watched on HBO last night, actually, was the first two episodes of I Know This Much Is True, which is a drama starring Mark Ruffalo as both, uh, both halves of a pair of identical twins, where uh, it takes place in 1990, and one of the twins has paranoid schizophrenia, and the other kind of has to, you know, do a lot of uh, heavy lifting to try to take care of him and has other sorts of dramas in his life. But, like, kind of the framing device and the main narrative thrust is is uh, Dominic, the brother who does not have schizophrenia, having to try to take care of Thomas, his brother who does. And uh, in particular, there's a big incident that requires, um, you know, uh, the, the state to step in and start uh, meddling with the, the treatment and hospitalization um, in ways that makes Dominic very upset and not sure what to do. And so it, he's trying to, you know, help his brother, but having to navigate the red tape and also discovering, like, that some of that tape, you know, like, you know, his... He, he has this knee-jerk reaction of hostility, believing sort of that anything that isn't exactly how, the, how he wanted it is hostile. And so I, I, it seems like that's going to be a little bit of a, uh, uh, you know, a, a learning process for him, too, realizing that, like, just because someone represents a change to the way you, ha you have been doing things doesn't automatically mean that they're out to get you and that they don't care and that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, it's it's certainly uh, very good so far, although it's, you know, drama, right? It does It's not big on humor. And in particular, as far as secondhand embarrassment goes, like there's a, a section in the first uh, episode that just, boy, it, it's just, yeah. I, I think if you have a hard time with secondhand embarrassment, <laughs> this show is going to present problems for you. But, uh, but yeah, it seems really well done so far, so I'm going to keep watching it. But only two episodes of that are out so far. And whereas there's two whole seasons of Succession. But, you know, also uh, what I've been doing is playing through 
uh, you know, ever since I finished my replay of the Bioshock series, I'm now uh, back into Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is pretty good. And basically, I can vouch for pretty much everything that I, people I trust said about it, which is that uh, the action's good, it's very well made, it has um, a lot of good characters in it, although it's a little bit of a shame for the story that the main character is kind of like the most boring one. Um, you know, he's, he's sort of the very generic, you know, you know, white boy, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's fine. He like, he's inoffensive, but he's also just the least interesting of everybody else in the, in the story. Um, but it's, uh, pretty good and I am enjoying it. So playing that too. And, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and leave it there for now. Tomorrow, of course, I'll be continuing my rewatch of The Legend of Korra, and so uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. Wah! Is this my vo vo volume low? It's probably...